Howdy, howdy, boys and girls. Welcome back to some more Astroneer. Now, um, I did do a little bit of, like, researching, uh, when I was away. I kind of also uh, realized I wasn't that smart about it. Any of the, uh, research materials that I get that are, like, small, like, god, not these ones. These ones are actually massive. What the hell? So I guess we'll put these up here while we're talking. But yeah, any of the small, like, uh, research items that I can actually fit in my backpack, I don't need the research lab for. Like, I could just scan them myself. So that's, that's kind of annoying, but you know. But yeah, these seeds you can't scan, period. They're just, you can only plant them. But, uh, if, if those, uh, exploded ones spawned, like, one of the little squigglies, I could actually just scan that myself, and get up to like 60 bytes so it's actually a very easy way to get <laughs> bytes just out of nowhere uh here it's probably easier oh yeah there's one right here perfect so stuff like this a research sample where it's small enough where i could just put it in my backpack uh if i just keep it on the ground and hold f it just scans it i got 46 for that one 32 for that one so it i didn't even need all my research labs to start farming bites so i'm kind of dumb for that but you know it's a right way to quickly make bites if you find a cluster like that that's what 120 right there almost uh but yeah so doing just that little bit i already almost have six thousand bites so i'm gonna unlock basically whatever the hell i need at this point <laughs> um but that was also uh this law mission that i didn't finish that basically is just doing 10 of what i just did little research thingies so let's take that we get three tethers for it and then bait and switch samples of ferrolite i went back down and harvested some more of that because it wanted me to harvest three of those already found some it was just redoing whatever i wanted but the item is glitched out for some reason new mission strange object whoa oh, jesus christ Cannot activate until drilled into terrain. Cannot activate due to objects blocking area. Cannot activate near landing zone. What the hell is that? Oh, I've got like a single tether in my backpack. There. Not exactly needed there, but... Okay, but... Does it want me to build some... Is that a train? What is... until drilled into terrain how do I drill it into the terrain objects blocking area oh Jesus Christ okay is it <laughs> what's what's wrong what do you mean all right we're gonna put it over here there's no grass or anything. Oh, myself. Oh, <laughs> I'm the object blocking it. Okay, but what is this? Use. Oh, God. I thought it was a train. What is... Related strange object. What is... Okay, what is clattering? Ah, stop that. Please don't tell me that's going to constantly be doing that. Oh, there's debris stuck in the side of it. Get out of there. Okay. Oh, that was so annoying. Good. Um. Say stop making that noise. Okay. So... Abandoned facility once used to house and study biological samples. It is still partially functional and may contain useful information. Okay, one of the, recycles debris and unwanted items to create scrap. I don't know what scrap is. Canisters of soil trades for no. Okay, that's fine. But like, so I actually have to make something so I can scrap all this stuff. Oh, oh, I can power this. 
Hold on. Hold on. This is not what I planned to do this episode, by the way. Let's... Um... <laughs> I built it a little far away. <laughs> Generator down in the hole. Plug, plug to that one. And finally... Plug to this one. Power. There's a spot I can put something there. Action required on Xenobiology Lab. Can you not be so creepy? Can you not freak out? Are you good now? Are you done? Okay. <laughs> um, that was weird. This is not what I planned to do this episode. I planned to go to space. What is this? Fried power, yes. I get some bites for that. That's fine. And I got no new achievement for it, so I don't even get to know what this is for. Like, this... The only reason I feel like these are connected is because they have, like, the same purple glow to them. obstructed. Wait, so it actually is something to do with the sky? Global stability 42%. It's going down. from ESS Triton. So I stick you in the ground and use you. to see at nighttime, but like the sky shatters and it's weird. Global stability at 15%. What in the hell? Is that helping? What happens if it hits 0%? Is it gonna... Oh, now the sky's fine. 95% stability? How did... What? I'm so confused of what that does. But anyway. <laughs> what the hell? I didn't think this game would be this out there. I'll take that sink off of there. Anyway, do I still need to... Oh, wait, I did finish the mission? No, it said, it said I just finished the mission. Okay. Locate one of the strange structures emitting a pillar of light. I don't see any strange structures emitting a pillar of light. Unless it's whatever that is. Doesn't really look like a pillar. For some reason, that side of the sky is just pink. Anyway, uh, other than that, hundred schematics, almost halfway to there. Uh, two different planets. Print small shuttle, put it in solid oxygenator in the shuttle. Solid fuel thrusters. So oxygenator, shuttle, solid fuel thrusters. Okay, small shuttle, there it is. Solid fuel thrusters. Oxygenator, okay, so I already had that, okay. So my large and medium printer should be enough for it. 
There we go. I got two aluminum. So built a small shuttle. While that's going, I can come over to you and make an oxygenator, right? No. Is it this one? Oh, I have to make dynamite from this, too? Okay. Ceramic and aluminum. I know I have ceramic right here. And I need to make more aluminum. <laughs> go oxygenator and what was the third thing solid fuel thruster was that also something I had to make from the large or no I need ammonium and aluminum barely see that box put all that together when it's done so ammonium was in the other thing, wasn't it? Here. And, oh wait, no, I moved that. So it's there. I randomly found it. I don't even remember where I found it, to be honest. But I'm glad I found the ammonium. If I get ammonium and aluminum, I can make solid fuel thrusters. All right, so I need to separate all this out so I can get a good look at it. Oh god, I'm slow. There. There. Don't go in the hole. <laughs> I want to find like flat ground to set it off on. So here. Here. And the thruster. That looks like a thruster. Kind of cool. All right. Hold on. Let's let's f collect the mission before. Oh god! Something's banging around it already. Oh, I have to attach it. Okay. Okay. Stop. Okay, so oxygenator, install. Is it already running? How are you getting electricity? Do you create your own electricity like the home shuttle? Fuel zero. Provides power and oxygen. Oh. Then the thruster goes to the bottom, right? Fuel 100%. Capable of four launches. Okay, I should... I'm glad I read that. New mission prototype recovery. Why is it purple? Alright, so we got this. This is our... A lot. We get a lot for that. Okay. We got a whole nother thruster because of that. Get you out of here. Oh, can I hook things up to the side of my thruster? It doesn't look like it. I was kind of hoping I could, like, bring stuff with me. Like, that I can't just put in my backpack. But I think I can put this in my backpack. Yes, okay. So I can put that in my backpack. Can I put this in my backpack? I can. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so don't open that until I need it. Awesome. Good to know. Good to know. All right. I think I have everything I could possibly need, actually. Because I've got the little generator here. I've got another field shelter. i got solid fuel thrusters for four more launches. Both my oxygen tanks. A beacon so I don't get lost. I think we're ready. What were the, the names of the places I need to get to? There are two planets I need to explore specifically. Install oxygenator in the... 
I didn't see that. Where, where would I even install that? Ceramic and aluminum. That is something I can do. I think. So here's ceramic. Am I out of aluminum already? God damn it. I don't even remember where I found that. All right. All right. I, I think I remember. So I'm going to go grab that real quick. I literally have all the stuff I really want to keep any, on me. I'm such an idiot. Oh, no. No, I see it. I had no idea where I was. How did I find this? Okay. Almost lost everything I wanted for my journey. All right, all right, all right. Nighttime? Yeah, it's nighttime. All right, so now that I'm properly terrified, let let's save <laughs> and exit. Awesome, awesome. Ladder right. Ladder right. There we go. Now I gotta get another oxygenator before I go. Is that supposed to help me? Know thy galastropod. Does that mean there are actually aliens here and that's like a necessary structure? You know, besides the plants. Uh, get 250 bytes. <laughs> Use data log to activate Xenobiology Tracker. I don't know how to do that. Did it just need oxygen for the systems to work? As weird as that sounds. Oh, I just needed to press something. <laughs> okay. Uh, research. Oh god, that's a lot of reading. My research continues en route to Lubos Prime. This is my first time working with the not nautil spe specimens before they've undergone environmental adaptation. All seven galastropods remain in good health. Nothing substantial to report. On a personal note, I question the value of our current mission. Extensive research has already been provided on galastropod optum, and I fail to see the added value that exposure to Lubos Prime will bring. Exo solutions for containment are questionable at best, turning a species with such invasive qualities into house pets. <laughs> Additionally, crewman now, or is it just new? I think that's an A, has taken to spending all his free hours in the nursery, interrupting my work. His insipid cooing and insistence on naming them is irritating. I dread the hours he's not on shift. Okay. Uh, despite my best efforts, Rogel? continues to escape from his terrarium in favor of taking up space in my coat pocket. I fear I have spoiled him one too many times with our walks around the ship. The little ones have taken over my lab. Increasing personal interaction has resulted in extremely positive results. Much as I hate to admit it, the snails do seem happier and I find myself strangely energized once they've all been fed and sorted. I even caught Usagi singing this morning. 
now will never let me live this down. I will have to settle our bet the next time he's free. His team has been extremely busy charting a course towards the anomaly our scanners picked up. I do hope he finds time to drop by the nursery soon. I can't do that one. It's locked. This will be the final entry. The Triton is under attack. I'm the only one left. I've sealed the nursery, but it won't be long before they find me. Now called to me earlier, or whatever that thing is pretending to be now did. There's no way off the ship for me, but I've set the command to jettison the nursery. All that's left is to push the button. If you're reading this, please take care of these little ones. I cannot save the Triton, but maybe I can save them. It's in this? This is the nursery? Merchant planet Glastropods Optum is an invasive species that was first discovered. I brought that to my planet. While their origin planet is unknown, Glastropod eggs hitch rides on nursery comets until such a time that they crash into or encounter more solid ground for hatching. Young Glastropods quickly adapt to the planetary environmental conditions they are exposed to, presenting a variety of features when fully grown to help them survive in nearly any circumstances. Evolutionary Glastropods' physiology is known to hijack a neurological response in the orbital frontal cortex of other beings, ensuring the core and survival of the species. In response to the interaction and food given to them, Glastropods provide their protectors with temporary positive effects and influence. Okay. Glastropods are known to be playful and mischievous creatures. They enjoy music, dancing, and interaction. When approaching a Glastropod for companionship, their social behavior must be considered. Exodynamics recommends gentle coaxing them out of hiding and then attempting to appease the Glastropod's whims. Okay. It may take several... I can't just scroll through this. Do I? There we go. Uh, it may take several tries by playing with a Glastropod before it will allow itself to be placed within a terrarium. Exodynamics recommends that all Glastropods are kept securely within terrariums, both to ensure Glastropod safety and to restrict the species from becoming a detrimental ecological force. A contained and well-fed Glastropod is a happy Glastropod. Brave and curious companion, you emits a bright light from your body from what? When well fed. Sylvie illuminates the darkest of places no matter where they reside. So can I use these glastropods as like, almost like helpful tools, kind of? Like you uh, bring a canary out into a mine or you bring a dog on a hunting trip kind of a thing? Is it going to be like that? Because that'd be kind of cool. You know? I don't know. They also seem like they could be highly dangerous and I kind of don't want to open this place kind of also really really want to open this place because <laughs> if they're in here how do i get it open unless they were on these are they in the planet somewhere are they already here am i screwed oh one sec all right i'm back um so yeah that's concerning could also be cool i don't know this has been a very eventful episode oxygen filters sylvia shells what in the forest of sylvia Is that this forest? Her shells. Are those what those white things I've been finding are? Those are shells. Oh, that's terrifying. She's already here. Oh my God. I just missed all these. I'm gonna get a companion. I'm gonna get a companion. That's gonna be so cool. I don't know. I, I It's slowly growing on me, even though it sounded absolutely horrifying when it first started. Because now I have an empty terrarium. needs to be filled with a specific item before it is ready. Oh, Prairium Soil, Zinc, and Bounce Fine Seed. Is that what you are? You're a Bounce Fine. Okay. I kind of got rid of all your seeds. 
really, really, really wish I could destroy you. Oh, well, dynamite will have to do. All right, no, no. We'll save that for the next episode. I'm getting too far into this. We're going to another planet. What planets do I need to go to? Actually check this time, brother. Hold on. There's two planets. DeSolo. Or Calador. For Wolframite. Lithium from Visenia. Okay. Place a landing pad on another planet. Okay. DeSolo. So there's more to do on DeSolo, but I need lithium from Visania or Nomis. I guess we're going to DeSolo for now. This is so cool. Small shuttle. Launch into orbit, launch to another planet. Going into orbit first. Exodynamics Outreach Advocate. What is these? What are those? Are those the places I can land? So I can just land on other places on the planet. Okay. Well, let's go to another planet. So we are on Silva. Notable resources, spherolite and malachite. Gases, hydrogen and nitrogen. Description, average atmosphere. Temperate, pleasant. Hazards, easy. Power, medium sun with medium wind. Oh, DeSolo's our moon. So, Vesania and Noxus, Nov Novus, sorry, are their own little planetary system. Okay. Description, no atmosphere, bare rock, pockmark. Noble resources, Wolframite and Sphalerite. We already have the Sphalerite. High sun, low wind. So solar power would be best there. Um, let's go. What the hell is that? You can tell why we're landing here, right? What's that off in the distance? What the hell is this? One small step. There. Oh, I have not been here first. This is awesome. Can we just... Field shelter. Uh, another thruster. Didn't I bring an oxygenator with me? Oh, well, doesn't matter. No, 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 no. Exit. Okay, so this produces power and oxygen on its own. That's, that's awesome. I can enter this whenever I want. Wow. Okay. I don't know what that symbol is. Discover a gateway chamber. Is that what this is? Oh, your debris. You aren't actually useful. Wait, I can power you? Uh, uh, I have to. You know I have to. What is this? New research sample. This solo shell. So there's one on this planet too. This one either needs a battery or just power. I can't really tell. I think power. Ow! Oh! Dagger root. Okay. Pain. Alright, anyway, I brought a bunch of tethers at least, so let's start using those. I can freely go over to this thing. I'll stick it on the side, might as well.
All right, so I can freely mess with that. I need something to increase the amount of power I can reach over there. What can I create on my backpack? That would be helpful here. I kind of want to unlock all this stuff. Portable oxygenator. Wait, so I can just permanently have oxygen if I use this and the generator on my back. Is that what I'm getting from that? Worth remembering. Beacon. Work light. Because oh I can't create anything that doesn't like, it cannot be happening on my back alone. So I guess the first thing I'd have to make, then, is a printer. Power extender, boost mod. Power extender. Requires copper. Drum mod, ceramic, dynamite, explosive power. No, stop. Organic for glow sticks. That's not the same as the work light. No, okay. Packager, graphite. I don't know what a packager is. Small printer. No, I want a medium printer. Can I make a medium printer? I don't think so. God, I can make a lot of things, though. Here, small printer. I need to find compound. Hopefully there's compound on every planet. I assume there would be. I can also make a generator because it has... Yep, 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 yep. Here we go. Small printer. Is this the... No, this is just ammonium. Two of those just so I can bring them back. There we go. Do these hurt or are they just fun? They hurt and are fun. Okay. Okay, so I'm back. Not what I meant to do. Not what I meant to use. Okay, so then I can use this. Can I rotate stuff? It'd be very helpful if I could rotate stuff. Wait a minute, I can put this... <laughs> I forgot I could move this, hold on. So I could just put this in here. Okay. Thoughts are happening. I need to find a way to get up here easily. Yeah, yeah, there we go, okay. So yeah, I guess we'll just put this here. I'm gonna ignore the fact that it's hanging off. No, pick up the printer. Medium printer with two compound? I didn't pick up two compound. Man. Oh, is this going to get higher the more power you get? Okay, so I probably need to make more power for you. I have a generator on my back, but I'm apprehensive to give that to you. Really, only two nodes of compound. Is it normal that there are, like, not huge nodes of compound in this one? Like, I feel like this one's pretty huge. That's fair, but, like, usually there's a lot more. Oh, oh, oh. Test my theory. See if it needs more power. Let's jump. 
At least it'll be easy to notice which one's my face. <laughs> medium printer. Put that up there. It made a noise, but it didn't change. So if I were to take my generator and hook it up here, would it be better? Oh, something about it changed. least figured out what we're supposed to do here we're supposed to funnel as much power as we can into this but i'm all out of time for this episode <laughs> this is so cool this is exactly why i wanted to play this game oh my god i love everything to do with space exploration i should bring some power over that way yeah, if you like this video, don't forget that like button. It does wonders for the channel. I would love, I would love it if people like brought back this game, so I can actually learn how to play it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, put it in the comment section down below. I'll respond to all of them as long as I'm still a small channel. And don't forget the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can see more videos like this when they pop up. All right, thank you again so much for watching. See you all in the next video I make. All right, peace. <laughs>